Time for my final thoughts. So the out-of-state protesters and members of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe are celebrating the great victory of whining long and loud enough until the spineless Army Corps of Engineers gave in and halted the Dakota Access Pipeline. Congratulations, you halted the completion of a pipeline that is 85% complete. Congratulations, now more federal and taxpayer dollars can go to an environmental impact statement and meetings those protesters will probably fail to go to once again. Congratulations, you halted the creation of over 10,000 jobs. Congratulations, you pushed away 55 million in annual property taxes for the state. Congratulations, you've signaled to the world what happens to infrastructure and progress in the heartland. Congratulations, you've duped much of the country, much of the country outside of the actual frickin' area impacted by the pipeline, into thinking that you've won some kind of a moral battle here based on flimsy environmental claims and months of loitering around the prairie for attention. A round of applause. But if you think you've somehow stopped fossil fuels, you're sadly mistaken. Here's what those noble protesters don't know or don't want you to know. The oil isn't stopping. It'll just be transported the way it is currently transported by rail or road. Yeah, much higher chance of spillage, explosion, and tragedy, and is also more expensive and less innovative, but whatever. Those higher costs will simply be passed on to consumers, and the poorest of Americans will suffer the most. But that doesn't matter to these environmental activists. They've been able to convince the tribal community and other minority groups that this pipeline, though good for the overall economy of North Dakota and Americans in general, is part of some kind of a social justice slash environmental crusade. But... <clears throat> I asked those green activists like Jill Stein and her tree hugger clan, how did you get to North Dakota in the first place? I hope you didn't drive. Oh, and it's a damn cold winter in North Dakota. I hope y'all aren't planning to use propane for heating. It's also rather interesting. No one is protesting the Prairie Wind Resort and Casino. It pulls in 30 million a year for the tribe, but also operates an on-site water reservoir slash treatment facility. That water facility sits next to the water stream flows into Lake Oahe, the same lake the protesters are protecting. But no one wants to talk about that. It's not as cool as labeling yourself a sacred water protector or lending your celebrity status to the cause of the moment. The pollution problem is the hot air released by the protesters, not a pipeline 92 feet below the lake. So enjoy your victory while it lasts, but don't get too comfortable. January 20th could change all of this. Now, those are my final thoughts. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tommy Laren from Dallas. God bless and take care.